In St. Louis, residents picked through what was left of their homes 24 hours after the worst storm in 44 years, yet no one was killed. In Sanford, North Carolina, Easter services for victims of last weekend's deadly tornadoes, 92 twisters hit North Carolina, 24 people were killed. Mike Smith, a meteorologist who wrote a book about weather disasters, says people in both states had ample warning. The warnings were excellent. There was plenty of time for people to get to shelter, provided they got the warning. But people have been known to ignore dire forecasts or miss them entirely. Gail Dickens, cashier at the Lowe's store in Sanford that had its roof ripped off, said she had no idea a tornado was coming until it was in the parking lot. We start seeing debris in the air, and I said, this is a tornado. We've got to head for the bathrooms now. In dangerous weather, St. Louis residents have an advantage over North Carolinians, blaring sirens like these that warn tornadoes are imminent. The heeding of that warning uh, by the citizens once again has saved countless lives. North Carolina's insurance commissioner is urging all county officials to install tornado sirens. The siren can get your attention even if you're not tuned into the media or on your computer. Smith says tornado warnings save 1,100 lives a year. But he notes another problem with last week's tornadoes. Of the 36 killed from Mississippi to North Carolina, 86% were in mobile homes. So clearly, we need to make sure we have shelters at mobile home parks. The fact that several states, including North Carolina, do not have tornado sirens soon may be a moot point. Mike Smith says the day's not far off when the National Weather Service will be able to warn you a tornado is in your path over your cell phone. Russ? Interesting. Tony Guyna, thank you very much.